so we can yeah we can get things like rolling here we go uh feel free as well to post like any question if you have in the in the chat room here we have a chat room so you can post anything you would like uh any question i would kindly ask you as well whoever would like to speak please like you can raise your hand like in in the station if you would like to take like for example coming station or something raise your hand so we can see you and we know that you are the one you will be like the next candidate to take uh, to take on the next station okay so usually we we like this is like the first session of the season we have two options here so uh, you know first we 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 can go and explain what we the so-called SOS scheme systematic OSCE scheme it's like a systematic scheme that we developed to help the colleagues to uh, to like systemize their approach in the OSCE stations to ask like the relevant questions to to be like a well arranged systemized uh, approach to solve the cases uh, if you would like to go that no problem we can do that but you know you will find on the youtube channel like uh pharma Ch pharma free youtube channel we explain we explained that before like twice or three times before so i i believe like it's up to you if you have time we can go through the sos if you would like to go directly and you have like a good appetite to start solving the stations we are we are ready for post scenarios I will be uh, lecturing today beside my colleague, uh, Dr. Nizam, Ahmed Nizam. He's, uh, he's practicing in Prince Edward Island, and I think it's like well suited place because I called him Prince Ahmed as well. <laughs> like a prince. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So. Uh... Like you, you can speak up, guys, or like post in in the chat. What would you prefer? Would you like to prefer to go to the SOS scheme, like in in a quick, or go to uh, or go to the OSCE stations directly? Yeah, King Gazuli. Gazuli is not here, <laughs> unfortunately. Today <laughs> is not here. Uh, next time he will be there, inshallah. But Gazuli, uh, as well as like uh, slang, long history with us, in, uh, with the Pharma Free. Okay, we have Hebas say that go to sessions, please. Let's go to, yeah, we have Sarah as well. Perfect. So I think we, stations, please. Good. Sounds good. So as mentioned, like the SOS and the expl explanation and everything you can find them on the YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's start. Usually, it's like I believe some of the colleagues. Ah, you, you don't say any. Uh, can you see my? Uh... Ah, sorry for that. You cannot see my uh, my PDF file, right? What shape the PDF? Oh. Mm, and a shape. Sounds good. Good question. Okay. Okay. As you might know, like we, our stations is like, are not like so easy. You know, they are not solvable every time we may repeat the stations. Uh, but luckily for you today, we have like a good stations. No, like, no not so much complicated. Hopefully, the, uh, you can like uh, solve it from the first run. Uh, I believe most of you can do it, not, if not all of you, of course. So uh, today's stations, they are like uh, solvable in comparison to our like usual stations. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one. And we need the first candidate and the first uh assessor will be uh dr ahmed nizam i'm gonna take on yeah sure second okay. i'm gonna take on the second third station nizam will be with on the first and fourth station okay yeah. yes i will be the lucky person who gonna take the first one first station Do 
you can raise your hand guys or like unmute yourself and speak otherwise we're gonna pick we're gonna pick someone Fatma Fatma Zahra uh, sorry I don't speak English very well um, do you speak French? <laughs> I can French. Oui, yeah. oui. Yes. Yeah, je peux parler français, mais malheureusement, ah. je ne peux pas le faire ici. Hein. <rire> Tout à ah, la... ok. Mais, mais dans le cas où je, je veux, je peux, est-ce que je peux poser des questions en français? Oui, oui, oui c'est correct. Je comprends. Parfait. Parfait. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Moshkir. On va. Uh, sorry, we're gonna see another one. We need like anglophone candidate. Roba? If it's possible. Roba, are you okay? Yes. Just up, my yeah. name. Let me... Sorry. It you can say off. it, but no problem. It cuts off in your, in your side. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. There's something wrong with the connection with the, with the robot. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share like uh, the reference first. So Roba will be our first candidate, right? Roba, can you hear us? Yeah. Are you yeah. good? <laughs> Are you fine? Yeah. So I think yeah, I believe that you have problems. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? No, 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 no. Okay. How 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 it's gonna work, guys? Okay, you will have like thirty minutes, yeah, uh, thirty seconds. Sorry, before we start counting the time, to to like go through the 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 references in quick. Okay, so you can. Uh, I'm gonna send you now the references on the Telegram group. Okay, hey. yeah, we have the Oski Telegram Telegram group. I'm gonna share all the references out there. Right away, yeah. just right before the we start the station, okay. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna share the reference right now. Uh, Oski, here we go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Station number one. Hey, what what the Sarah, please, uh, if you can mute us, please. I think we're just going. Okay, I muted you, Sarah. I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, Ruba, you have uh, station number one reference. In the um, Telegram group, you will have it now. Okay. You got it? No, just me. Sorry. You received it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still downloading. Downloading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you have it, you will have 30 seconds, and then we're going to start. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. We need this reference as uh, well yeah. that for uh, not so Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. There is another reference we need it as well. What another? On the same stage. I, I yes. sent it in the... In the uh, yeah, yeah, your okay, page. One, one moment, guys. There, there, there are like two references. Yeah. You shared it in uh, Telegram as well? Yeah, Telegram. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna send you another one. There you go. So you have to... Now it's downloaded. Yeah. Okay? So you have 30 seconds, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, doctor. Can you send the Telegram uh, link for other students? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I will do that now. Thank you. Okay, 30 seconds, guys. Uh, this is like monogram. Ah, okay, the next one. Uh, okay. Yeah, hello. let's start. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Lamit, the pharmacist in duty. How may I help you? Uh, hello, yeah. Uh, my name is Dr. Nizam, and uh, I, I would love to ask you some questions. I would love you. I would love to. I would love you to recommend something for my patient. He has a plant prosthetic hyperplasia. And I would love to know what is the best option for him. Uh, uh, excuse me, I cannot hear you well. Okay, can me. you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Just raise your voice. Okay, uh, my name is Dr. Nizam. Um, uh, I have a patient. He's 67 years old. His name is Hamada. Uh, I would love to prescribe for him... Uh, Uh, a medication for benign prosthetic hyperplasia. Uh, so I I would love to I would love your recommendation. Uh, it has been on uh, diutastride for a while, but it, it didn't work well with him. So I would love to add something else for him. Uh, excuse me. What you start with him? Excuse me. The diutastride. Diutastride. Okay. Uh, okay, doctor. Uh. I am happy to help you. I just I need to ask you some question. Is it okay? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, did the patient, why you want to change the patient from the previous drug? Uh, I don't want to change it. I need to add something um, else because it's uh, he's still symptomatic. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, did you do any... Any change before, or this is the first time? It's first time. Okay. Does the patient has any liver? Did you do liver or renal function test for the patient? Yeah, his kidney, his creatinine clearance is 45. 45. Okay. Yeah, and his liver is good. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, just hold on. I want to check my reference and come back to you. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, uh, okay, doctor, thank you for information and time you provide. Uh, it, I recommend for this patient to take uh, antihypertensive. Uh, <laughs> Brazosin, okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah, he, can, he can take one, one milligram two times a day. Uh, from, from what? Uh, Prazosin. Prazosin. Yeah. Uh, it okay. is better to take it at night, to start at night, because this is drug may case hypertension. Okay. So it is better okay. to take, uh, to give uh, the started dose must be at night to avoid hypertension. There is dose hypertension. Can you see is the patient okay? profile on the screen, uh, dear? Okay. Uh, yeah, I cannot see the... Okay. 
なんか。なお。なお。なお、いけん。On the screen, there is a piece あ、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー。Okay. I thought it will be in the. Sorry, I did a mistake. Two minutes remaining. Uh, okay, doctor. Uh, the patient is on mm -hmm. sedentil. Okay. Uh, uh, it increases uh, the risk of hypertension. Okay, so what option are you going to add? Brazosin. Really, I don't know. <laughs> I I need I need something to relieve his symptoms. Ah, uh, does it work? I don't need like a blood pressure medication. I just need like a uh, medication to to relieve his blood, like you know his prostatic symptoms. But I don't need a blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. If you, if you can recommend like alpha adrenergic product. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, like phenylephrine. I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> okay. okay. Um, Uh, uh, I recommend him oxybutynin, okay? Oxybutynin, okay. 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 Uh, no problem. Th thank you so much, That's Robert. It. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Robert. Just be uh, like, we, we, uh, we have some comments to you, but like, We're gonna okay. retake the station. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna retake it with another uh, colleague, and then we'll, okay. we'll be back. We will be back with the assessment. Okay. Okay. So, okay. okay. so we need like okay. another candidate, guys. Please. I can try. Who are you? Me, Dima. 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 Yes. Okay. We have Dima, we have Hiba, she's raising her hand, so... Yeah, I'll give her to Hiba, I'll give her to Hiba. No, no, I'll take the case, the Are you okay with that, Hiba? Hiba, from us, no problem. No, no, no. Hiba, As you like, guys. As you like, doctor, it's okay. No problem. انت عايز تدخلي يلا بينا انا ما عنديش مشكله ماشي اوكي اوكي ديما فشور خديها يلا بنت بلادي اوكي سو وي غانا ستارت رايت اواي نو نيد فور 30 سكندز اي بيليف هيما رايت يس دكتور بت كود يو بليز شو مي ذا بروفايل اجين بليز يس يا You are holding the Egyptian reputation now, okay? So do your best. Okay, thank you. We have the best pharmacist in Egypt. Okay, here you go. One, two, three. We're going to start. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello, doctor. I am Heba, the pharmacist. How can I help you today? Yeah, I need uh, your help, please. One of my patients, he has at nine prostatic hyperplasia. He's on deuterostride 0.5 milligram. He's been taking this one uh, for like... Uh, For a while, but he's, he's not actually doing good in this one, and I, I'd like to add something else for him in addition to the deuterostride just to control his symptoms. So, uh, uh, yes. yeah. Yes, Dr. Sure, I can help you for that. Could you please have a seat to discuss further about your uh, concern today? 
Just Thank I you. need to confirm uh, some information. Uh, the, the patient's name is uh, uh, Hamada and his age is 67 years old, right? Yes, you're right. Okay. And uh, for his allergy, he has a sulfur B and uh, pollen penicillin. Is it a true allergy, doctor? It is, yeah. Okay. Uh, just I need to confirm some information for our patient. Does he have uh, any other medical condition besides the, what exists in his profile? No, ju just the ones on his profile. And he's also suffering from dizziness. Okay, doctor. So since how long he started to take uh, due to stride? Uh, yeah, like two months ago. And is still his condition not controlled? No. It's still symptomatic, yeah. Okay. I see also he take Remibril. Uh, I assume this is for hypertension, right? You're right, yes. Okay. Is his and blood kidney protection as well. Sorry? And for kidney protection. Mm -hmm. is, it, is his blood the pressure is controlled? It is. Okay. Uh, I see also he take air uh, beprazole uh, for which indication, doctor? Uh, it's for low mood and, and sleeping problems. And also amitriptyline? And amitriptyline as well, yeah. Okay. So uh, is his uh, kidney and the liver function is normal? His liver is okay. His kidney function uh, last creatinine clearance was 45. 45, okay. Does he take any other medication I have to be aware? Uh, yeah, just the ones on the one the ones on his profile. Okay, doctor. Uh, does he take any over the counter like uh, Advil, Tylenol, any uh, herbal multivitamin? Uh, no. Okay. Is his vaccine is up to date? Yeah, I think so. Okay, doctor. Do you have any idea about his lifestyle? Uh, he told me that he's, he's, taking, he's drinking grapefruit a lot. Grapefruit? Yes. Okay. And uh, does he drink any alcohol? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, any caffeine? No, no. Does he smoke? Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay, doctor. So you come, you, you ask for uh, add medication for his condition because he take due to steroid but he still have uh, side uh, not improved, right? Yes. Okay. Do you have any other uh, concern I have to be aware before you check my reference? Um, just like his dizziness. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the medication you need to add for with due to steroid, right? Uh, yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Just I need to check my reference and the back to you. Okay. Okay, doctor, thank you for waiting. According to my reference here, uh, if you we need to add a medication for our patient to, to improve his condition for uh, uh, BBH, so mm -hmm. we have two options. We have uh, the first one is the trazosine, okay? And okay. second one is seldosine. And since patient has dizziness, so it's better to give him seldosine. Okay? Okay. Okay, normal dose will be eight milligram once a daily, but since our patient has creatine clearness uh, 45, so we will give him 50% uh, of the dose. It will be uh, four milligram. Okay. Okay, doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, can I see the, uh, the profile? It's on the screen. Can you see yeah. it? Yeah. Two minutes remaining. Okay. Just I need to address uh, just a second, the doctor, for his uh, business. Sure, take, it. take your time. Okay, doctor. Thank you for waiting. For the second the concern about the, uh, the business, I see here that he takes the Denafil 100 milligram. Uh, and uh, uh, it seems to me that the dizziness is related to the high dose for sildenafil. 
so my recommendation is to decrease the dose because maybe uh, this is um, the main cause for deafness. Okay. Okay, doctor. Mm -hmm. So uh, we gonna uh, give him uh, seldocine for milligram with dutasteride. And we're going to decrease the dose for sildenafil because uh, sildenafil causes low decrease in his blood pressure. And this is maybe a uh, cause for him dizziness. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, especially also he take lorazepam. Okay. okay. So maybe mm -hmm. uh, increase his dizziness. Uh, that's why we need to decrease the dose for sildenafil. Okay. okay. Okay, doctor. So I do I address your concern today? You did, yeah, thank you. Okay, you have any other question? No, thank you. Okay, thank you, doctor. Perfect. Thank you, Heba, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Allah you know, okay. تمام مية مية. النظام أشوف أنت تعلق الأول وبعد كده يعني. Let us like ask one of the colleagues first, Nizam. What what do you think? Okay. How how do you find Heba Heba's performance? What do you think? She answered the question. She she could do better. What do you think, guys? If anyone can comment on Heba's performance, please. Hadjar, would you like to comment? You're raising your hand for next station, and I understand. But if you like, have another. Uh, if you if you have a comment or something, share it with us, please. What do you think? Um, maybe I would say, if I was in, in her place, I would explain to the doctor that uh, psilodocin would give a quicker response than dutasteride. Because as you said, you said that he started dutasteride like two months ago. And for uh, dutasteride to give an action, it needs about one year. So we need a quicker action using uh, the alpha, alpha 2 blockers. So yeah, maybe I would explain that to to the doctor. It's usually, it's, it, yeah, this is a good valid point actually, but it usually it's not it's not one year. We can assume like it's not not, not before, yeah, not before three months, and can yeah, not not before. Months. Yes, it's it's between three months and one year. Yeah, exactly. Most likely, like we say, six months. Six months. Yeah. 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 One yes. year is so much, so long. Yeah. So much, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so long. Usually we say six months. This is okay. Uh, how yeah. do you find, how do you judge like uh, Heba's choice for sildocine? Uh, sildocine? Yeah, it's a because selective, I... uh, it's a selective alpha 2 blocker. So uh, I agree with her. We can either try the damsulosin, sildocine, and uh, the alphistosin. So I agree with her choice, yeah. It sounds good, but you know, yeah. the, the patient is like a renal impaired patient. You got me? And she did the good thing. She did like the, the right thing that she adjusted the dose to the, the half, which is very nice and yeah. very professional uh, judgment. But you know, the, as well, Nizam, did you mention anything about the grapefruit and etc.? I did, yeah. Okay. And there's like another problem. That I think the uh, the assessor, like the the actor, uh, told her about, which is the grapefruit. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> you you didn't catch that, right? No, I, I, I didn't. There is a drug interaction, doctor. Yes. Yes. Sildocin. Uh, is the, the only. Yeah, yeah, it's the only selective beta uh, alpha adrenergic block. It's, it's an inhibitor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that gonna interact with with. Yeah. Uh, true. Yeah. This yeah. is my problem in Oski, Doctor Muhammad. When I, I I know that there is, I have to mention to stop the grapefruit. But when I finish the case, I I put in my mind. But when I finish, I remember after I complete the case. This is my my problem. <laughs> it's, it's How like... can I? Solve this uh, before exam. It's a good time now. Correct it. And uh, uh, regarding amitriptyline, does it, it, it does have also alpha blocker exactly. activity and oh. uh, mascarenic. It's yeah, uh, yeah it's worse than uh, hyper uh, prosthetic hyperplasia. Exactly correct. This is another True. concern. 
and as well for the dizziness, anticholinergic side effect, the dizziness, the something. Amitriptyline could be like predisposing factor here. You got me? So it's like uh, amitriptyline is a big problem in the profile. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have anticholinergic, so it can affect like it can even worsen the 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 urinary congestion, the urinary, the urinary blockage. This is number one. Number two, it's, it's effect on the dizziness. You got me. So but this... could we stop amitriptyline? No, you 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 wouldn't stop it, but at least you have to decrease it, and you have to understand for what reason he's taking it. Did you ask mm -hmm. for that? Yeah. Yeah, uh, she did. yeah, I asked him. Yeah, he said for depression. Uh, okay, can we change sildenafil uh, to five milligram tadalafil? You can do that, but sildenafil is he's not taking that every day. He's taking only when needed. And Heba did the right thing as well. She mentioned she mentioned that he needs to decrease uh, to decrease his dose. So in this situation, it would be enough if you mentioned that the patient can take like half or quarter a tablet uh, when needed in place of one tablet in place of entire one tablet you got me so if 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 he could decrease the dose only decrease the dose this would be more than enough for sildenafil okay so uh, sildenafil is like uh, yeah it's a big problem as well amitriptyline second big problem Dutastride, the only concern was it's going to take up to six months. So it makes sense that we, we, we introduce something that can give a bridging effect or can give like uh, some relief to the patient uh, till the Dutastride kicks in. Uh, Lorazepam, as Heba mentioned as well, it, it's a big problem as well. So it, it will uh, worsen, aggravate the dizziness. So... Uh, it's very important to 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 stick it to the minimum dosage. Take it only when needed. Okay, for the choice here, I believe sildosin sildosin is not like the ideal one. However, it's not contraindicated. Okay, it's a good one. You 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 corrected the dose. You adjusted the dose according to the renal impairment, which is fine. But as well, you you. You you didn't notice like the grapefruit. Grapefruit. Well, yes, I have to mention the point for grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah, because like a severe interaction. If you if you check the reference, like it's like a, it's not even more than more than moderate interaction. It's like severe one. Mm -hmm. So uh, best choice here, guys, would be alfuzosin. Why we wouldn't go for tamsulosin? Why we wouldn't go there? Because of the sulfallergy. This is one thing. Correct. Allergy. Because of the dizziness. Exactly. Second, yes. dizziness. It is the worst. This is the worst between the among the three uh, selective alpha one blockers. Tamsulosin is the worst. Doctor, I have a question. Yeah. If we uh, recommend it to stop grapefruit, so we're gonna uh, give the second choice, sildosin. Yeah, yeah. For me, yes. If he can stop the grapefruit, for me, if you adjusted the dose, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, I give him the it's adjusted fine. dose, but I I advise to stop the grapefruit and I give him sildosin. So it 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 is a good uh, choice. Yes, for me, it's it will be yes, it is yeah correct. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't choose number one because I said he has a dizziness with and the drug interaction with the sildenafil. That's why I ignored first choice. Okay, I I, um, I have one point here, Dr. Mohammed, regarding the sildenafil. Um, in the second reference, if, if you open the second reference, uh, it's like a table for like all the inter uh, interactions between uh, the the alpha blockers and uh, most of the medications the last like uh, column it's it's the drug interactions between between pde5 inhibitors and uh, the alpha blockers you need to read this one very carefully if, if you read it it, it 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 goes like this you need to stop the pde5 inhibitor until until the patient is stable on 
the alpha blocker for a while. Stable to mean his blood pressure is okay, no side effects, no hypotension, no orthostatic hypotension. Then we can reintroduce the PDE5 inhibitor at lower dose. We need to mention this thing like this. There was like a case before, and it was just like the only trick point was the patient on Viagra, and the doctor put him like on uh, alpha zucin, and he he was just come uh, he, he just came to the pharmacy to pick up the alpha zucin, and the doctor didn't mention anything about the Viagra, and that was like the only trick in the exam. So you need to stop Viagra first wait for uh, until the patient is stable on alpha zucin for like one month or two months or two weeks or three weeks, as long as his blood pressure is stable, no orthostatic hypertension, then you can reinitiate the Viagra once again, but at lower dose. This is just to avoid the additional uh, hypertension, you know? So yeah. you need to mention this one. This, this point is very valid, yeah. It's very good. This is like the ideal scenario that you are mentioning, Niza. You know, but but for me, like because of the complexity of the situation, you know, <laughs> if even she she, she, she can she can just like read. I I always like in the exam. I just read like what is written in the reference. Yeah. I don't even like uh, like try to explain it to the doctor because it's he's a doctor. I just like read what is written. Just read what is written like in the reference for drug interaction. Like like what you did for this uh, seleucine and the renal function. So you, you should say like, according to the reference, which is the monograph of the alpha adrenergic blockers, we can use the seleucine, but at 50% uh, reduction of the dose because the patient creatinine clearance is, is less than 50. You should give like a reason behind your 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 selection or your, your answer. And we should also, according, According to the references, stop using the or ask the patient to stop drinking grapefruit because it will int interact with the seleucine. Just like this, you, you just read, you just read like from the reference because it's a doctor's station. You don't have to explain to the doctor the mechanism or whatever. Okay, doctor. Yeah, thank you. Correct. Perfect. And you you need also to say why you didn't choose the term seleucine to the doctor. You say, okay, doctor, we have three options. We will. Uh, I will actually avoid them sleuthing because the patient has sulfur allergy. This is very important in the exam. So the assessor know why did you pick up this one in a specific? And That's we need to avoid them sleuthing as well because there's uh, like a higher incidence of dizziness with them sleuthing. So the best two options are available, either uh, alpha zucin or seldocin. But if the patient will go with seldocin, we have to give like 50% of the dose because of his kidney function, and also uh, the patient need to stop the grapefruit. Stop grapefruit, okay. So, uh, so Dr. Nizam, both options is correct, right? But we have both to options are correct. There is no choice. like wrong. Yeah, there is no wrong answer as long mm -hmm. as you give like a reason behind your uh, your your answer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Therefore, the, this this one is like a bonus uh, bonus score, honestly speaking. Yeah. This is very important. Yeah. What Nizam mentioned yeah. is very, very important. It will affect your community. You can rationalize. Yeah, if you yeah. can rationalize, justify everything you, you every decision you make during your uh, solving process of the station, this will increase higher and higher your score at the at the assessor sheet. You got me? Yes. So mentioning why not to choose tamsulosin because of the allergy, as we mentioned. And second thing, because of risk of dizziness. Okay. So okay. amitriptyline, please, guys. My comment here is about amitriptyline. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so uh, amitriptyline grapefruit interaction was like where two points that had to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, Heba, you did very well. Honestly speaking, you, you you were very meticulous about your answers. You got me. You you you, you did the, like uh, honestly speaking, I I'm not sure that you had given renal impairment to those adjustments. In fact, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not s
تمام الله ينور عليك ده تحيز يا دكتور اديتك يا ريس تحيز اه بصراحة تحيز لا لا بس هي حلوة جميلة يعني بصراحة حلتها حلو اوكي انا ممتاز so ان شاء it الله sounds good for uh, Roba I believe Roba you did well as well but you, you need to uh, maybe my uh, in my judgment you, you are not so much like familiar, familiar with, uh, with this chapter and the uh, therapeutic choices that we have to solve like benign uh, prostatic hyperplasia you got me so what what i do recommend you is like to go through this chapter and try to read it uh it's so you can understand the situation because you 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 are so in my in my perspective you were like you were solving another issue you were, you were looking for a treatment for hypertension i don't know why But the problem is that I, 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 think I get confused, doctor. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But I get confused. I didn't read the, his profile. Just I went to the reference and. Okay. <laughs> you can try <laughs> okay. another one. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. So let's move on for a second station. If if anyone has excuse, excuse anyone has a comment has something here, please share. It. Yeah. A question, a question. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go okay. Ahead. Um, just concerning the cell dinafil, it's indicated in the hypertrophy of prostate. Is it on the 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 on Tu peux juste ajouter juste la dose pour donner la arrêter de commencer l'alpha bloquant après le reprendre quoi. Il y a deux démarches ici, ici à suivre honnêtement la, la, la démarche okay. dont, dont la, Ahmed Nizam mentionne a, a mentionné ce qui on, a, on arrête complètement le sel d'enafil par la suite uh, le, le temps qu'on commence le, 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 le alpha okay. blocker et par la suite on va réintroduire le sel d'enafil dans une petite dose, comme le 25 mg ou chose comme ça, et euh, au four et à mesure, on peut augmenter la dose un peu, comme on peut aller à 50 mg, c'est selon la réponse du patient. Si le, si, le, si le patient commence à faire des effets secondaires, secondaires comme des étourdissements, des choses comme ça, à ce moment, il faut garder la dose minimale. Oui, ça, ça je l'ai compris, Non. mais juste l'interaction également entre RAM et PRIL et l'alpha bloquant, il y a un risque hypotensif. Il ne faut pas commencer avec une petite dose de, de l'alpha bloquant après augmenter, j'imagine. Ok, mais tu, tu, tu dois donner la priorité ici à la, au alpha bloquant, n'est-ce pas? Parce que ça, c'est le vrai traitement. Le, le, c ça. Mais il commençait à faible dose. Juste à commencer à faible dose, l'alpha bloquant. On commence pour le pour le pour le n'importe qui n'importe quel produit que tu vas tu vas choisir mais tu dois commencer à la dose recommandée la dose thérapeutique par la suite oui parce que ça c'est le ça c'est le, le traitement principal ici n'est-ce pas ça c'est le principal et par la suite le sildenafil c'est juste au besoin oui c'est juste aussi le, ce qui concerne c'est les effets secondaires reliés à la prise de sildenafil Ok, tu as même que Oui, merci beaucoup. Ok, donc, il y a la station, la seconde station, guys. We will move forward. Station number two, we need like second candidate. A happy and lucky candidate because I will be the assessor here. Thank you, Dr. Dima. Yes, okay. The Adima can it man of Ah, ah, Mark. Yes, okay. We uh, we had uh, we had Hajar as well wanted to to uh, to participate, and we have Sarah, Usama, uh, Uzma, Dima. You are done, Hajar. Okay, so uh, Dima. So we're gonna take Dima, guys, because she like uh, she was raising her hand from since a while. Uh, next, we're gonna take Hajar because honestly, Hajar uh, is raising her hand since a while as well. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dr. Hamad. How are you? Yeah. Um, I would like to participate. I couldn't raise my hand. <laughs> ah, for real? <laughs> yes. Okay. Problem. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so uh, 
I'm gonna share the reference for second station for Dima. Okay. One moment, please. Uh, voila you you have the second one you have station number two only one reference yes i told you you are lucky yeah okay you would be happy <laughs> in this station okay? okay 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 so you have 30 seconds mm -hmm. go ahead okay p profile Okay, hi, I'm Dima, the pharmacist. How can I help you today? Uh, yes. Yeah, hi, Dima. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, my name is Mohammed. I'm like a pharmacy student here. And mm -hmm. I have a prescription. I would like to take your... Uh, I would like to take a second opinion in this prescription, if you can help me out. Sure, it's my pleasure. Could you have a seat? Yeah. Thank okay, you. so can you tell me what your question Yes, okay. I have a prescription here for Mrs. Halawetha. <laughs> so she's like, uh, she's five, 58 years old. Mm -hmm. And she was prescribed like with the H pack. You know, the triple treatment for H pylori. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, it's it's been like uh, one year that I'm doing my, my, my internship here in the hospital. And uh, like I went through so many prescriptions for uh, antibiotics like azithromycin, clarithromycin, the macrolides, uh, and I uh, what what I what I can see that like so we prescribed that a lot here for uh, upper respiratory tract infection, you know, and yes. so many patients did not get like complete remission with this. And sometimes, uh, many times, we need to change like the macrolide to beta lactam or uh, some other like gram positive antibiotics. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I would like to, uh, I'm not so at ease with this treatment. I would like to, if we have other options that we can go through and see you other options for the patient, please. So, you mean the patient was on uh, uh, clarithromycin microlide? And it's not working for him. Is is not he didn't yet started the medication. But you see the other people in the, other in patients, the yeah, in the hospital, yeah, in the hospital. In the hospital, not working. Okay, so you thinking to uh change the regimen for him? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure, I will help you. Uh, may I ask you a few questions about the patient? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, uh, does he have any other medical condition? Yeah, you can see his file here out there. Yeah, I can down. Yeah. He's taken. Okay. Yeah, he's taken his medication in a blister pack. Okay, so I can see he currently on aspirin, clonazepam, and ferrous sulfate, atrovastatin, and uh, cutiabine, calcium carbonate, ramipril. Does he comply for this medication? Yeah, yeah, bless her back, yeah, he's fine. Okay, and his condition is okay. I mean, cholesterol. Um, I can, can which, for which reason he take colonzebam? Colon Sorry? If he takes... For which condition he, ta uh, he take colonzebam? Yes. yes. Okay. He is, is a lady. Okay. He's a lady. So aside, okay, okay. Aside this medication, he take any other medication, prescription medication? No. Any other medical condition? No. Uh, any other over-the-counter medication, multivitamins, herbals? No. And uh, he's vaccinated up to date? Yeah, I believe. Are you aware for his lifestyle? Her lifestyle? She's female, right? What do you mean lifestyle? Does she smoke? Uh, no. Let, does he have time for exercise? Uh, exercise, not so much. Does she following any specific diet? Uh, 
Diet, nu? Nu, tai. Ok. Dar ai nouă veci, jo. Nu. Ok. I want to check my reference and come back to you. Do you have any question or concern? Shall I watch? Shall I no? Shall I add this before I'm checking my reference? No, 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 no. I'm only concerned about the treatment. If we can, I'm okay to give to give her this treatment. No problem with that. Okay. If you have other recommendation, let me know, please. Okay. Sure. Does he have any allergy? Uh, sulfur. Sulfur allergy, which is type one. Yeah, skin rash. Two minutes remaining. Okay. Okay, we can go to uh, another regimen. We cannot go uh, to another regimen? Yes, we can. Yeah. Why? Why should we uh, go to another regimen? Okay, because you, as I mentioned, you feel the other, the other patient not get the uh, response from micro life, <laughs> right? Okay, the other infections was for urinary, upper respiratory tract infection. Okay, okay. Mm. But I mean the a micro light resistant rate. Do you know about the resistant rate about micro light? I mean the clarithromycin? Yeah, uh, they told me like it's like about 20 or 18, something like that. So because of that, we need to change the regimen to other regimen because that put the patient the risk of the resistant. So what do we do now? Uh, we can't go to the other we other regimen, uh, exclude the clarithromycin from it. We can go to the uh, bismuth quart quartver, a protein pump inhibitor, yes. uh, with the twice daily. And uh, business substrate for time daily with tetracycline for time daily. Okay, Dima. Thank you, Dima. Time, time is over. Okay. Okay. You, 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 okay. Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm so happy with that. Very good. But you know, uh, yeah. So it, you make things like easier for next candidate, honestly speaking. But you, uh, there's like, yeah, there's, more stuff to be said as well you got me okay, okay. yeah but you you did very well i i thought I, i'm gonna tell you why you did very well but okay. let, let's take like another uh, okay. uh luckier candidate because you because <laughs> you, you went through like uh some important point in your assessment so the next guy would be like uh, would have like an easier mission than you so okay. uh, let's go. We can go for uh, Hajar, Real, and we had Sarah as well. Any one of you guys, you can go ahead. Yes, I would like to, please. Yes, I, I cannot see your name. Who are you? It's Hajar. Ah, Hajar, yes. You're Hajar, me. yes. Yes, thank you so much. From Al Algeria, you told me, right? Yes, yes, true. From Algeria. From Wahran? No, from Algiers. Ah, from Al Asim. From the capital, yeah, yeah. Asim, marhab. Okay, yeah. so let's go, Hajar. We're gonna start right away, okay? Okay, okay. So, uh, hi, it's Hajar, the pharmacist on duty. How can I help you? Yeah, I, I, 
I had a I'm a pharmacy student here in the hospital. So I, I have a prescription uh, written by Dr. Smith for one of your patients. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm not so at ease with this prescription because, you know, what I'm saying, what I what I have noticed like recently that many of the patients that we uh, for for whom we prescribe clarithromycin, azithromycin or any other macrolide, they are not like having complete remission, complete. Uh, response with this um, many of the situations in which we were like uh, obliged to to change the antibiotic for another like beta lactam or positive gram positive antibiotics uh, Okay. I'm concerned about this regimen. Uh, I would like to. this uh, case Um, I'm fine as well to to give this treatment if you can judge uh, this will be effective yeah. for H. pylori. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course, I would be glad to help. Uh, can I have some information about your patient, please? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about Yes, go ahead. uh, um, the patient Um Hassan, right? Yes, hello, it's Abu Hassan. Okay. Uh, so uh, is she menopause? Okay. Uh, so, uh, is she menopause? Maybe, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, does she have any Yes, medical condition? yes. Uh, Yes, which uh, kind you of have medical here condition, cluster please? back here. You have here plaster Okay. back here in the pharmacy. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Does she have any allergies? Uh, Salfa. Salsa allergy, okay. Uh, does she have any uh, medical medication apart from this? Any uh, of the counter medication, herbals, uh, vitamins? Oh, no. fine. She's fine. No, does she smoke? Uh, does she drink? Does she uh, drink coffee? Yeah, she drinks a lot. She drinks. She drinks a lot of alcohol per day. A lot of alcohol. Okay, okay. So she's addicted or just uh, for recreational uh, purpose? No, no, not the, no. I cannot. I cannot say that's like addiction. But she, she, she likes to drink alcohol like seven, eight times per day. Okay, right. Okay, perfect. So did she use any antibiotics uh, recently? Uh, maybe like two months ago, yes. Two months ago. She had this, this Romax, this Romycin. Okay, okay. And uh, can I ask for what purpose is she taking the uh, aspirin? Uh, cardiovascular protection. Okay. Okay, right. So uh, can you just give me some uh, moment? I will check the reference and I'll be back soon. Yeah, take care. Thank you so much. Hi, thank you so much for, for your patience. Um, so I would like to uh, change the regimen to a stronger regimen as she used uh, a macrolide recently. So uh, because we are afraid of any form of, um, uh, of resistance, so we will give her uh, the uh, bismuth uh, quadruple regimen. Okay. Okay, uh, so but I have uh, some um, um, some uh, remarks to to give you. Uh, so for the PPI, uh, I would you suggest to change her calcium to uh, citrate uh, form so that it can be absorbed. Uh, for the bismuth uh, substrate, 
Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was just wondering. No, excuse me. For the metro need that's all. We will um, ask her to stop uh, the alcohol during the whole treatment and for 24 hours after. One, one and a half minutes remaining. Okay. Okay. Um, and in case she has any uh, muscle ache, she she can inform us because um, the... Uh, uh, no, that's not the case. Excuse me. Yeah, that's that's our <laughs> all my remarks. So it's for the metronid as well. She needs to stop the alcohol. Yeah. And okay, she needs to stop the alcohol because of the metronid as well. Okay? Yeah, right, right. Okay. What what else? Do you have any other comments? Um no, actually, I think Okay. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Mr. Uh, Doctor uh, Smith to change the prescription for the quadruple regimen. Yeah, yeah, right. Sounds good. So do you have uh, any other concern to share with me? No, thank you. So we changed that because of the of what? Uh, because we... of uh, the fear of resistance, as she used macrolide recently. Okay, so the new uh, regimen will not uh, consist in... We'll not have macrolide, yeah. Okay, sounds good. It's clear. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Hajar. Thank you, Dima, as well. Okay, so this guy is like... A, it's like... It's not complex station, okay? But it's like a, a longy one. A lengthy one, you got me? It's like a long. So you need to understand first the concept behind. The concept behind is that you have to spot the risk of resistance as you pose the, have done. You pose have done this. Okay, you spot mm -hmm. it. Difference that you you like, uh, Dima spotted the, the risk of resistance like in the last mile of the station. <laughs> you got me in the last minute. She uh, yeah. that's why she couldn't react properly in the in the remaining, and that the, the, the yeah. possible yeah. Drug reactions and the possible like uh, side effects. Uh, moreover, uh, Dima I didn't did ask not about ask... alcohol. Exactly, yeah. it's my exactly. fault. It's my fault. Yeah, you didn't ask about alcohol. You didn't ask about recent antibiotic intake. This is another yeah. one. Moreover, yeah. guys, please. When you have a doctor station, when you have like healthcare professional station, try yeah, to ask yes, about the liver and the renal, functions, and right. renal functions, please. Okay, oh, yeah. this is yeah. this is important. This is important. Okay. Okay. So yeah. for, um, for this station, for also, this, station, there is no no problem in in, in here. Okay. Uh, honestly, there is no problem. <clears throat> But like, like a like a gentle reminder for everyone: when you have a healthcare professional, you have to ask about hepatic renal function. This yeah. is number one. If you can ask, is it he? If he is like outpatient, inpatient, is like in the hospital, is outside. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And more important, yeah. I mentioned that several times before. At the end of the station, when you get a prescription, when you get a recommendation. Uh, you have to elaborate here your willingness to do like a teamwork, like intra-professional collaboration. You have to mention that if you would like, I can reach out to the patient and give him the proper consultation about this medication. Okay. You got me? Mm -hmm. This is very important. Yeah. This is like the main, the 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 real game here. Uh, like in uh, in uh, as your uh, as your role as a pharmacist. Okay, so what I'm trying to to say here, uh, we decide the treatment of H. pylori on two things: allergy profile, macrolide resistance. Okay, allergy. There is no risk of allergy here. Okay, so what about the macrolide resistance? 
Yes, there is a macrolide resistance, and the pharmacist didn't mention that to you clearly that the macrolides. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Okay. And the pharmacist, pharmacy students mentioned that clearly to you in the first like phrase of the station that there is like a problem with the macrolides. Uh, this should like flash, flash in your head that we macrolides is not the the best solution here, so we have to search for something else. The, the yeah. in this and in the reference you have, as well, you 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 can easily find that quadruple business uh, regimen would be the nice one that we can use here but there's like some challenges with this regimen what are the challenges thank you aspirin aspirin yeah this is Irish. why i phrased dr muhammad this is why i phrased for a moment yeah. because yeah. i was afraid of the peptic ulcer uh, due to aspirin plus uh, uh salicylate but i I like. I didn't know if it worth it. If if it worth to to say it because I said maybe it's only two weeks and maybe it will not really yeah. do something. I think so we... that's why I freezed for a, for a moment because what? I didn't know if I should say that if I should mention this interaction or no. No. Uh, no sorry, doctor. Have, I have a no, question. Yeah. Go ahead, Eva. Yeah. Uh, she take uh, bantoprazole and she will start another BBI. So should I mention that she has to stop uh, bantoprazole to avoid duplication of therapy? Assalamu alaikum, ya binti bladi. Assalamu alaikum. This is like we we started with like as I mentioned, guys. We 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 have some challenges, correct? We start one by yes. one, okay, one by one. So let's let's speak about like let's talk about aspirin. Aspirin, yes, it's a concern here. Why it's a concern? Because you have bismuth yes. subsalicylate. So this patient will have like increased risk of bleeding, increased yes. risk of have like an uh, maybe peptic ulcer or something, as Hajar said. Okay, so the aspirin here is, is a concern, yes. So we can do, from, from my recommendation, what we can do here we can reach out to his cardiologist or family doctor and check with him if we can stop aspirin. This is number one. Number two, we can keep this lady on a close monitoring to reach to see if there is like any burning sensation that uh, will happen, any symptoms, any risk of bleeding, any bleeding signs or something. You got me? So you can you can keep conservative approach, which is like keep an eye on it, keep an eye on the symptoms, or you can reach out to the family doctor, to the cardiologist, and to hold aspirin for like uh, two weeks uh, the, during the, the treatment. You get me? But mm -hmm. yes, you, you had to say something about aspirin here. And calcium carbonate as Hajjal did. One by one, guys. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Okay, so aspirin is the first thing. So clonazepam, any risk from clonazepam? No. No. Okay. With, the, with alcohol, mm -hmm. if the patient takes alcohol. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes, I forget about alcohol. Yes, clonazepam, of course. This is the risk. Yeah. But here, the point, she, she's she been taking alcohol since a while. You get me? Clonazepam is not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. Taking both together. All right. So this is not a problem because she used to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, let's show it then. Ferrous sulfate. Any risk here? No. Yes, absorption. Yes, yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. The main drug in our action is between calcium and ion and tetracyclines. Exactly. Uh, we um, should separate yeah. tetracyclines and doxycyclines, all of all of these uh, kind of antibiotics, uh, at least like... Uh, two to four weeks, uh, two to four hours. Yeah, at least like this, yeah. yeah, two to four hours, yeah. So we should mention, we should mention this. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. 
So Ferris Ferris interacts as well, guys, with the tetracycline. You know that? Yeah. Okay. So we have ferrous and we have calcium with tetracyclines. Two interactions here. Uh, you can space out at least two to three hours, maybe four hours as well, as Nizam uh, said. So it's very good. Pantoprazole, Hiba said that. Hiba killed this point. Yes, pantoprazole and he, mm -hmm. he will take lanzoprazole. So no need for pantoprazole during the treatment. Correct? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, true. Correct. So pantoprazole, we have to, to hold it as well. Uh, Ramipril, any problem with Ramipril? No. No problem with Ramipril. Okay. So we went through the profile here. And it's very easy to spot to, to spot like the, the, the problem here, the therapeutic troubles. The other mm -hmm. thing is about the alcohol. The alcohol. Hager said that, mentioned that, I believe. Alcohol with metronidazole. You said that, yeah, alcohol with metronidazole. But you didn't mention anything about what what is the problem. Yeah, the, the disulfiram reaction. Yes, <laughs> yes. disulfiram like reaction. Yeah, I should mention that. Yes. Yeah, it ends up like No. Of course. Yes, I didn't, but I I didn't think I I must give an explanation. Exactly, you had to mention something about this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have yes, a new user uh, is saying like a valid point as well. Why not to double dose of pantoprazole instead of switching? Yes, correct. You can do that. Why not? Okay, you can hold. Or you can uh, you can double the dose of pantoprazole and do not give the lanzoprazole. Simply speaking, okay. And uh, <laughs> regarding aspirin, uh, I think uh, Um Hassan she is taking aspirin. Uh, she is taking pantoprazole to protect her stomach from aspirin. So why we have to um, uh, stop aspirin or try to stop it? Just. Uh, um, just uh, um, follow up um, if there's a sign, because I think she is taking now pantaprozole for protection. Uh, uh, because she's taking it now as aspirin, she, as it is a uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Correct. As I mentioned, we have two options. Okay, we have two scenarios that we can go through them. First is to fax or reach out to the physician and ask him if possible to hold the aspirin during the treatment of two weeks. The second thing is to the conservative approach. The conservative approach is to keep an eye on the symptoms, to keep an eye if there is like signs of uh, uh, peptic ulcer, signs of uh, bleeding, correct? If there is like a uh, like, uh, uh, black stool, if nasal bleeding, whatever it is, like sign of bleeding, you have to watch that out. Other thing, if there is like any sign of peptic ulcer, burning sensation, like uh, pain in the stomach, in the abdomen, and etc. This is the second approach. <clears throat> you can go there or go here, as you like. Okay. 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 But the risk of bleeding will be increased and the risk of peptic ulcer will be increased with the, so with the bismuth subsalicylate. Or there, there will be two, sub, two salicylate molecules. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Okay. Yes, Sela Shabab. Any comments? Feriel, would you like to comment or participate? I believe you participate. You would like to participate, right? No, we stop asking uh, here. Osma no. Ashik and Feriel. Osma Ashik from Pakistan. You are from Pakistan, Osma? Yes. Yes, Ashik. How you know? Sorry? Are you a name? Uh... 
guess from the name? Acho que é, sim, sim. Acho que Yes, é. it's a common, common name, yeah. Usually, usually you use like Arabic adjectives. <laughs> you got me in your name. <laughs> like Ashik Sadiq. Something like that. Okay, so station number three. So we will start with Ferial and then uh, Ozma, you can go after if you will. Uh, new Yes. user. So, a new user is asking if we if we stop aspirin here. Nizam, can you please explain this? Because I explained that like twice. No, we don't. We don't have to stop aspirin here. It's for 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 heart protection. We don't have to do it. We just like we need as as Dr. Muhammad mentioned. We just need to monitor the patient for any sign or symptoms of 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 bleeding or severe uh, stomach pain or. severe nausea or vomiting, any sign or symptoms of ulcer, we, ju we just need like to monitor this, to keep our eye on this. But we don't have to top aspirin. But we need to mention this just to let the assessor know there's like a, a risk of bleeding here uh, because the patient is on, is on aspirin and we will add bismuth as well, subsalicylates. So the patient is at increased risk of, of GI bleeding. We just need to mention this with, without the need like to stop aspirin. Perfect. Yes. So can we go, uh, Nizam, would you like to go uh, second station? The, 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 the st your station, like the... Yeah. Like the fourth? No, but it will be the third one. The third, okay, sure. Third, okay. Okay, yeah, just give me one minute. I want to. Um... Yes, there we go. <clears throat> Okay. Is this a doctor station? So, are you ready? Me? I hope so. Okay. <clears throat> Just a moment. Uh. For uh, you have the reference, right? Uh, no. If, if there is any reference in this station or not? Sorry, which station is this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll share the reference now. Yes, but... okay, guys, this station is uh, is it's easy, but it's I don't know. Maybe you find this one a little bit. It's, it's, it's easy, but it's but it's not. <laughs> okay, just a minute. There are two references. This is the first. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay. Perfect. So you can see this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to go. Sorry. No problem. I'm trying just to, sh to share my reference. Yeah, 
Yep. انت قريت الاسم صح؟ مش عارف مصري يعني. اوكي. Are you good, my friend? Yeah, the first reference, and this is yes. second ones. Yeah. How many reference? There are actually just like two ones. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Ferial will do it. Ferial, you will do it? Yes, yes. If, if it is so stressful, I don't know. It. <laughs> mm, I so. have enough stress. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try. Okay. I'll try. Okay, let's go. Okay, let, let, let's say go. Go. Okay, start, start guys, please. Yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Nizam. Uh, may I ask you a question, please, regarding one of my patients? Oh, his name is, uh, okay, Abdel Fattah. Okay. Uh, hi. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Go ahead, yeah. Hi, I'm Ferial, the pharmacist in the duty. How may I help you? Yeah, uh, I have a patient here. Um, he's 65 years old. Um, he has uh, one kidney. Uh, I would like to prescribe uh, a lipid lowering drug for him. I have actually tried like two before. One is etorvastatin, uh, 20 milligram per day. Uh, but uh, the patient actually like show show intolerance like uh, in the form of muscle pain, and we also tried for him Crestor as well, and he he experiences the same issue. So I would love uh, to see if there is any other options. Okay, what uh, uh, prescribed for him um, again? Uh, Atrovastatin first, and then. Yeah, we we tried first Crestor. Yeah, and it didn't, yeah, and, and it gave him like uh, muscle pain, and then we tried atorvastatin, and uh, it gave him the same problem. Ah, okay, 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 doctor. Um, uh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I would ask you. I would like you ask you a few few questions about your patient, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, please have a seat to discuss your concern, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. So, your patient. Uh, can I get the patient name and age? Yeah, his name is Abdul Fattah. Uh, his age is 65 years. 65 years. Okay, doctor, here um, his profile in our pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, he's taking atrovastatin, 20 milligram, 15 days He's not ago. taking it at the moment. Yeah, he stopped it. One tablet daily at the time. Yeah, he's, he, he just started. Yeah, we started this one two weeks ago, and he, yeah. he couldn't tolerate the medication, and we stopped okay. it. Okay. Acetaminophen and amlodipine, brindoprel, metformin. Okay. He's stable on this medication? Yes, he is. There is no side effect? Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, the blood pressure is controlled? Yes, it is. And um, uh, A1C for uh, diabetes? Uh, it's less than seven, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, and for which indication acetaminophen? It's for uh, osteoarthritis. Okay, okay, doctor. And uh, he is taking a trovastatin last uh, 15 days, right? Yes, we tried and, this one in yeah, the last and two weeks. Experience uh, side effect. And you want something other than a trovastatin, right? Yes, he experienced it yeah. most of pain, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, how much the, uh, the, uh, uh, the lipid LDL? His LDL is 4.4. Yeah, okay. And his triglyceride is, uh, is normal, and his HDL is, uh, is a little bit low. No, okay. Okay, doctor. Um, uh, does the patient have good liver function? 
Yes, his liver is okay. And kidney function? Uh, he has only one kidney and his creatinine one. clearance is 65. 65, creatinine clearance. Okay, doctor. Um, okay. Uh, uh, does the patient has any allergies? Uh, no. Any other prescription medication? No. Any other medical condition? No. Uh, he's taking like uh, over the counter Advil, Tylenol, um, other than acetaminophen, other herbal supplement. Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay. And um, does he uh, update his vaccine? I think so. Okay, doctor. And um, uh, do you uh, aware about his lifestyle? Well, I think he's drinking a lot of alcohol, beer, and he's a smoker as well. Smoker, yeah. Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay, doctor, if you give me a minute, I'll check my reference. I'll get back for you. Sure, go ahead. Two minutes remaining. Okay. I highlighted everything for you anyway. Okay. okay, doctor, thank you for waiting. Regarding your patient, I'll check my reference and uh, uh, the patient experience um, like uh, 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 muscle ache from the atrovastatin. This is because the high dose of uh, uh, of at, uh, of atrovastatin. So the recommendation is to um, either to uh, it, he, he is getting um, uh, rhabdomyolysis like uh, like what no. the, the the CK level. It was just like mild. Uh, it was just like mild to moderate muscle. Okay, pain, mild. No okay, you can system. doctor. Yeah, you can doctor to reduce the dose. Uh, um, uh, you can reduce the dose um, to uh, improve the the until the, the symptom is, is improved, or you can stop it now until the symptom is removed, and then initiate it at the lower dose of atrovastatin. Or you can uh, switch it to other statin with low dose. Or you can... Okay. Uh, like what? Uh, and, okay. yeah. What? Uh, Excuse me? Um, uh, interrupted the voices again, please. Okay, what other options? Yeah, other option. Um, okay. And he should uh, uh, stop the alcohol because this is overload and the um, smoking as well, smoking cessation. Mm -hmm. Intensity okay. therapy. Uh, okay, I'll check the other reference. Intensity therapy. Okay. okay. Time is up. Okay. Time is up, yeah, Periyal. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I couldn't yeah. check the two references. Just one yeah. reference I checked. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a time consuming station. You, you need to be very quick with, uh, with the yeah. assessment, like just in one and a half minute or two minutes maximum. And keep yeah. the rest oh. of the seven minutes, like trying to figure out the, the answer. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, um, I, I, really I, I found it now <laughs> because I checked the other it. reference. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it would be better if we can retake it, Nizam, or what do you, yeah, what do you sure. think? The station is solved or what? It's, uh, I would say, like partially solved. Okay, so um, it's not to solve it. Yeah, there are other stuff that should be saved. Would you like to retake it with another one? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go. So we need the second uh, candidate. Uh, thank you, Ferial. We will we'll get thank back. Thank you, Dr. Ferial. You did really good. Back to you with the serpent, yeah.
So, uh, may, may we take uh, Ozma, Ashik, okay. um, Islam Abad? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm biryani. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to start right away, uh, Ozma, okay? Okay. Yeah, let's start. Here we go. Okay. Hi, hi. Uh, yeah. hi, my name is Isma. I'm the pharmacist on duty today. How may I help you? Yeah, hi, my name is Dr. Nizam. I'm, I'm here to ask you a question, please, if you can help me. Uh, yeah, sure, doctor. Please have a seat here. This is our private area. And uh, can I, uh, what is your concern? Uh, yeah, I have a patient here. His name is Abdul Fattah. Uh, he's 65 years old. I want mm -hmm. to put him on a lipid lowering drug. Uh, we have tried like two options before and um, he showed like intolerance, uh, like in the form of side effects and to be specific, like muscle pain. So um, we need to put him like on something to control his lipid level. So I, I'm looking forward for your recommendation. Uh, yeah, sure, doctor. I will try my level best to help you in that. Uh, is it okay? I will ask you a couple of questions before giving you the proper recommendation. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I can see the patient profile here. The patient is taking the atorvastatin 20 milligram at bedtime uh, from the past 15 days. Is that correct? Yes, we stopped this one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, the patient is also taking the metformin, printer, metformin 500 milligram twice daily and printopril 8 milligram. And amlodipine 7.5 milligrams and acetaminophen 500 milligrams. Is that correct? You're right. Okay. And I'm all assuming that the patient is uh, diabetic and uh, hypertensive also, right? Yes. And uh, the, his uh, blood pressure level and uh, glucose level is under control? Yes. And uh, you uh, you said that he's complaining from the muscle pain only. So this is the only condition uh, he's the suffering from? Uh, yeah, the only the only issue now. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other symptom uh, besides muscle pain? No, just muscle pain. Yeah. Okay. And uh, beside this medication, is he is the patient taking any other prescription medications? No. Any over the counter medications? No. Uh, does the patient have any other medical condition? Uh, just 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 the ones on the file. Okay. And a few more questions about the lifestyle of the patient. Does the patient uh, drink alcohol? Yes, he does. Yeah. How much? Uh, I think maybe like three or four per day. Three or four drinks per day. Okay. Yeah. And uh, does the patient smoke? Yeah, he does. How much? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. And what about the diet of the patient? Uh, I have no idea, sir. And uh, does the patient able to do the exercise? Um, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Thank you for giving me all the information, doctor. Uh, so a few more questions. Uh, what about the liver function and the kidney function of the patient? Uh, liver is fine. Kidney, as I mentioned, he, he has only like one kidney and his creatinine clearance is 65. 65. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what about the LDL and HDL level of the patient? Yeah, his LDL is 4.4 and we need to to reduce this by 50%. Okay. If applicable, mm -hmm. uh, HDL? but I am open for any options. Yeah, and HDL, it's a little bit low, but it's okay. And mm -hmm. his triglyceride is normal. Okay. And uh, you said that you tried two different statins. Uh, one is the uh, Resuva statin and other one is the Adorva statin. Is that right? Yes, you're okay. right. Yeah. Uh, so doctor, uh, give me a moment. I will check my reference and get back to you. Sure, go ahead. Two minutes remaining. Uh, okay, thank you for patiently waiting, doctor. Uh, so according to my reference, it looks like the patient is uh, is, uh, is intolerant to the uh, statins uh, uh, because and the patient, uh, there could be the uh, 
two different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, patient is suffering uh, from, uh, it's intolerant to statin and the patient is also drinking uh, drinking alcohol on the daily basis, three to four drinks per day, uh, which may also lead to the symptoms of the myalgia. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so there are a couple of options available. Uh, we can reduce the uh, dose of the atorvastatin uh, to the lowest dose, uh, 10 milligrams, or there is a mm -hmm. more suitable option uh, for this patient could be the, we can start the uh, low dose, low intensity um, statins therapy to this patient. Okay, mm -hmm. so the low okay. intensity th uh, therapy statins uh, could be the uh, fluvastatin, uh, 20 milligrams, uh, lovastatin, 20 milligrams, or pravastatin, 20, 20 milligrams, or simvastatin, 5, 5 milligrams. So these are the low-intensity therapy, uh, low-intensity therapy statins, which helps in reducing the LDL level of the patient, and uh, it may also not uh, lead to the symptoms of the myalgia, which the patient is suffering from. Okay, do you recommend any like specific one? Okay, and you mentioned that the patient creatinine clearance is uh, 65 mils per minute. Yes. Okay, uh, so let me check with my reference, which is the best suitable according to this uh, creatinine clearance for this patient. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you for patiently waiting, doctor. Uh, so the suitable options uh, for this patient could be uh, the simvastatin, 5 milligrams, or the fluvastatin, 20 milligrams. The reason behind the fluvastatin is that the fluvastatin is the least interactive drug. It's, it's, uh, it does not have the, any drug interaction with the other medications, and mm -hmm. it is also safe in this creatinine clearance. Okay? Okay. And uh, the second option would be the simvastatin, 5 milligrams. It would be what, sorry? Uh, Simba. Simba statin and Prava statin. And Prava statin, okay. 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 Time, okay. Is, time is up. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, doctor. Well done, well done, doctor. Go sorry, ahead, for assessment. Okay, uh, so you did really, really good. Your your questions you 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 have asked about every single important question. Just like your your answer is really good, but it's uh, it's not complete. You mentioned like the low intensity statins. This is a really smart uh, thing, but you need also to to check the other reference. Uh, statins are like there are two types of statins: hydrophilic and and lipophilic. The lipophilic ones can go more in the muscles and cause like muscle pain and muscle distractions, which are like uh, most of the statins. And the hydrophilic ones, uh, they are less likely to go in the muscles and cause like muscle pain. And there are only two hydrophilic statins available, uh, the Resuva statin, and the patient have already like tried this one and it gives it gives give him like some problem, and the Prava statin. So if you can like combine the two references, so the best option you can use here is pravastatin the, uh, at the lower dose. So you, you combine both the low intensity dose, which, which would be like one or two milligrams, and the, 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 the hydrophilic like uh, 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 option, you know? You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Okay. So okay. if you if you pick up the pravastatin, uh -huh. you pick up the low intensity hydrophilic option, which would be the least likely option to cause like muscle pain. So oh, okay. you can you can you can say this, and we can start at lower dose, like uh -huh. ten or twenty milligrams. This will decrease the LDL by like fifteen to thirty percent. And if the patient tolerates the medication, we can gradually increase the dose over time, just to reach like the dose which can decrease or further decrease, decrease the LDL by like 40 to 50%, which is our target, okay? Mm -hmm. The second okay. option, you also have to mention the other options available just to get like the full mark. If the patient can't tolerate statins at all, we can try ezetimibe. This is another option, it's a very safe options, barely cause any side effects or drug interactions, but this one will decrease 
the LDL by just like 15%. And the third option and the most expensive options, which, which is biologics, we can go with the PCK, sorry, <laughs> PCK9 inhibitors. And uh, these ones are very, very strong in terms of reducing the LDL. And those options doesn't cause any uh, muscle pain at all or any muscle issues. So you need to mention those three options, and then it's uh, that's it. It's done. But you have you have done everything. You have asked all the the relative questions. Your fluency is, is perfect. Yeah, you, you you did really good work, but you just need right. to to yes. add more stuff. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Real did well as well, but uh, I believe that for real you you the yeah of course vision is lengthy, you know. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. like a long one. It's a long one. This is a, this is like the the problem with the first taker. You know, you 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 took the the station first, and this was the problem. Honestly, mm -hmm. second candidate, like he, uh, yeah, like he, uh, although the we, we cannot like uh, say that the station is easy. Not not easy, and even second candidate did very well. But you know, yeah. there's always like a, a special courage for the person who takes the station first you got me yeah he has to solve everything from from the scratch and etc but anyways that the purpose here for for from what we are doing is to understand the tactics to understand like uh, if you have some default or something so you can work on it as we always say practice makes perfect so uh, you cannot be perfect without practicing so uh, a little bit. So it's it's good to know your mistakes. It's good to know your uh, your uh, default here, so you can, so you can avoid them in the in the real exam. Anyways, yeah, yeah. yeah the problem I check the uh, the reference at the end of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, I couldn't um, I couldn't find the answer without checking the both uh, references. Okay, no problem. At all. This is yeah, this is a challenge in the exam as well. Yes, you you need to work in that. Checking references is very 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 important. Okay, I have a question here or two questions. Yes. Uh, regarding his uh, he's taking alcohol and metformin. Does that increase risk of uh, lactic acid acidosis? And the second thing is perindopril. It's eight milligram, and he has a kidney problem and one kidney. This he doesn't also... have a kidney problem. He just has like just one kidney and he's just stable. one kidney. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. stable. He's, he was born like this, and he's stable, okay. and his okay. his kidney function is fine. And he's okay. taking the perindopril uh, just like for for kidney protection mm -hmm. as well, not just for high blood pressure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is this is by the way a real case uh, was in the pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. Real case in Britain, Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward, yes. Okay. Anyone uh, lives in Prince Edward here? I think no. No one does actually <laughs> know about this province. <laughs> <laughs> the province is the last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move to uh, next station. Uh, one moment. I'm sharing my screen. Where is my screen? Yeah. Okay, can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen? Correct. Yes. Okay. Perfect. We we don't have any male participants here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no male participants here, guys. Right? We are visible minority. Me and no. No. Right. Fatma. Dima. Maybe she some. I think Sarah. She some maybe. I think Doctor Sarah has been raising her hands. Uh, Sarah, yes, uh, the Sarah, early uh, beginning. Sarah, 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 Sarah,
صار من زمان فعلا اوكي هي لسه رفع ايديا اوكي سو ليتس جو سارا اوكي ثانك يو وير ار يو فروم عراق من العراق من النشامة انت من النشامة شكرا شكرا انا شامع يمكن الاردنيين يصحونهم يس وانتو برضو بتقولوا نشامة مش كده انا انا ثانك يو Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'm gonna share my reference with you now, Sarah, on the, the Telegram group. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Can you see it? Yeah, very big one. It's mon It's only the monograph. This station is not so. It's not. Uh, we we did some. We did like similar stations before, like same that. If you are following our sessions or something, you may find it similar. Uh, but it's good. It's good to to have it here. Uh, so Nizam, can you please uh, can you please watch the time? Nizam. نظام سامعني الو احمد نظام مش هنا I can watch the time for you. اوكي مين هو ار يو ما شفتش اسمك معلش The ديام 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 رايت مصريه ايون شفت يا باشا مش ايه كمان زمان الكويت ده مالكويه انا كده هتزعليني منك بقى كده انا شك في التايم اللي انت هتعمليه انت 10 دقايق وقت اضافي ايش ايه ساره يلا بينا اوكي ار يو ريدي يلا بس هن... The question is, here I say, sorry, is it okay to يعني, say uh, for the patient name Ahmed or I should say the first name? Shikabala, I don't know Shikabala. Shika, <laughs> The you very big one. say Shika. Yeah. Shika. Okay. Okay. I said, Dr. Kana, I have a problem with the sorry. Okay. Uh... Okay. 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 بس راجع وراها برضه عشان هي زملكاوية. اوكي سو وي جونا ستارت. اوكي هير وي جو. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm the pharmacist on a GT today. How may I help you? Yes, hi, my name is Dr. Murtada Mansour. I'm like a, I'm a doctor here in the hospital and I have one case. Uh, I have like a. I would like to check like other treatment option for uh, Mr. Shikabala. Is one of your patients here? And Oh. this guy. Yeah, can you hear me? So, yeah, please have a seat and uh, make yourself comfortable. Can you tell me what is regarding his condition? Yes, yes. It's it's been like about maybe his mother his mother is, is calling me and told me that he's like it's been two to three weeks he started to get like a little bit anxious he's not sleeping so well he uh, he's like he's, he's not feeling so good she believes that we need to to uh, to increase the medication for her to increase the dose because not he's not focusing so well recently uh he's facing some trouble in his uh, work and his like study so uh i would like to to understand if we can uh, like increase the dose a little bit of the concerta the stimulant medication he's taken or we we should go for another option i don't know Okay, so is it okay, Dr. Mortada, to start with his uh, medical condition and uh, his lifestyle first? Yes, yes, he's fine. He's very pretty good. There's only like a There's... PhD. He's like uh, he has been taking this medication since about uh, maybe ten or twelve years. 
Uh, he's 22 years old now. Um, this The is condition? yeah, ADHD. Okay. Any other medical condition? No, he's good. He's fine. Okay, an allergy? No. Prescription medication rather than this anoprofile? No. Any over the counter medication? No, the only the only one uh, the only medication that is taken on the profile. Okay, can you tell me if you have any idea about his um if he is a smoking is he a smoker? Uh, from time to time, like from. Okay, what about alcohol? No, he occasionally. Okay, and uh, what about uh, his diet? His diet is good, uh, like normal Okay. one, normal one. Okay. And do you know any idea about uh, the kidney and liver function? Yeah, yeah, they are fine. Okay, perfect. I will go through the profile. So he's taking Concerta, 54 milligram tablets, uh, one at the morning with one with one tap of Concerta, 80, 80 milligram. Is that correct? Yes, he's taking usually 72 milligrams, but in some days, that's why we Okay. give him like 54 and 18. Some days he may take only 54, but most of the days he's taking uh, 78 milligrams. Okay, so yeah, okay. And uh, Gwen, if you've seen, he's taken this regularly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, since uh, 12 years. Well, here, okay. In the central, he's taking one tablet once daily. Yeah, he takes one tablet once daily. Okay, all right. You'll give me a few minutes to check my reference. I will get back to you, Dr. Murtala. Yes, okay. And he takes other vitamins, I think, as well, like vitamin B complex or something. Okay, all right. So, uh, any other vitamin? Also, only Centrum and vitamin B12? Centrum, vitamin C, vitamin B. That's it. Okay. Just give me a few minutes. I will check my reference. I will get back to you soon. Two minutes. Find it. That's How was the right. time, guys? Yeah. So I couldn't find the answer. I don't know. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, thank you, Dr. Mortada, for patiently waiting. So since the patient you said is uh, taking the the um, alcohol occasionally, it is very important not to take it with the concerta. It can cause sin as the person, depression. Yeah, and also, okay, I'm done? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Sarah, yes. You missed, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna tell you later what, what, uh, like, my comments. But uh, very good. Thank yeah, perfect. you. Perfect. So Thank you. Thank you. It's not like an easy one, honestly speaking. But you know, when with a good assessment, you can you can find out the problem. Okay. Uh, who uh, who's next? Hey, uh, anyone is raising his hand? Anyone who would like to take on this station, guys? Any candidate? No can. Can no. I? I will take it. Who are you, Sarah Sukari? Yeah, Sarah Sukari. Yeah, let me know, Sarah. Okay. Do you want to go? No, Syria. No, it's not bad. You saw it, man. Jiran. Do you want Hems? No, not Ham. You saw it, man. It's not bad. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's uh, so in Reham, can you please watch the time once again? Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Let's start, Sarah. Okay. okay. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a pharmacist in my duty. How, how may I help you today? Yes, my name is Murtada. I'm a physician here in the hospital. One of the patients, his name is uh, Shika Bala. Uh, yeah. You have his file here. Yeah. Uh, his his mom called me uh, complaining that it's been like two to three weeks now that he has he's a little bit anxious he couldn't sleep at night he's not focusing not, not so much concentrated in his work and his study uh, a little bit aggressive a little bit confused and etc yeah. so she believed that we may uh, yeah. Increase the dose a little, like um, one notch, like one, like to increase the dose a little bit. We may go. Yeah, her mom would to increase the dosage for him. Yeah, she would like to increase the dose because of the, the symptoms he is he's, he's presenting. So uh, I would like to check with you, like if we can, uh, for to what extent we can go for the oh. dose and. If, if you would recommend another option as well, I'm, I'm open to hear from you. Okay, for sure. I'll do my best to help you. Before I go to my recommendation, I will ask you some question about your patient, if you, will, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, if, go ahead. Okay. Uh, if the patient has any other medical condition beside the, uh, beside the AHG? No. No. Any other medication, any other uh, uh, non uh, non description drug over the counter, herbal vitamins? Yes, he's taken uh, in the file. His uh, surgeon prescribed him like uh, Centrum, and he's taken beside that okay. uh, the vitamin C and vitamin B every day. Okay, uh, does the patient have any allergy? Uh, no, a penicillin maybe, yes, only, yeah, penicillin. Allergic to penicillin, okay. Uh, does the patient taking uh, alcohol? Occasionally. Occasionally, okay. Uh, and what about exercise? Exercise? He's, he, yeah. he's exercising. He walks, he walks a lot. Okay. And uh, is there any change, any recent change in his diet or uh, or any recent change in his weight diet like this? Yes, I believe yes. He went through like a bariatric surgery uh, two months ago. Yeah, and he lost the weight. Yeah, yeah, he lost so much. He was about like forty pounds. Forty pounds. Okay. 
for how much uh, the surgery when 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 was it? Sorry. The surgery when was it? The surgery when was it? The the surgery. It before it's before uh, four months. The surgery. I, I saw two months. I mentioned about two. Ah, uh, two months. Yeah, I didn't hear you. Okay, and uh, did you please tell me about the symptoms now the patient uh, suffered from it? Insomnia. Yeah. Aggression, con confusion. Yeah. And confusion. Lack of concentration. Okay. Uh, sometimes he he breathes like he has the uh, tachypnea, like he's tachypnic, rapid respiration. Okay. Do you have any other question for me before I check my reference? No, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, doctor, for for waiting. According to according to symptoms, you told me that the patient suffered from insomnia and uh, and the racing heart and and racing in respiratory. This might be because the patient lo uh, this might be because the patient lose some weight uh, some weight and uh, uh, the nervousness and insomnia is the most common side effect of the methylphenidate. But the patient suffered from this side effect, maybe because it loses uh, some weight. We need to make some dosage adjustments for our patients. Is that okay for you? You're going to increase the dose? You will increase the dose? No, we will reduce the dose. Why? Because it's the... not concentrating. Not concentrated? But you said to me it is loses maybe forty pound forty pound. Yes, he lost forty pound. But I, I mentioned to you his mother is called us, but she found she 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 told us the story about the symptoms he has. At the same time, okay. you see that his the main concern is about concentrated. Yet the main concern yes, about concentrated. Couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't do. He anything. couldn't concentrate. He couldn't do okay, anything. Okay, we can. Okay, we can. We can. Uh, methyl, we use now methyl candidate. The age of the patient twenty two years old. Yeah, we can. The maximum dosage for date. Yeah, he he taking the maximum dosage. Okay, we can go with another. Uh, with another drug, either the concerta. Okay. Mm. Okay. Because the here the maximum. Concerta is not effective or what? He's, you said that this was not working with him. He, he that the hair mom needed uh, needed uh, him be more concerted yet. Mm. Because the maximum tolerated dosage of uh, of concerta for twenty two years old patient it is fifty four milligram per day, and the patient take the maximum dosage. Activity completed. Time. Activity completed. Yeah. Okay, we can uh, take a tablet. Yes, we can sorry. go extend the Yeah. لماذا ترددت صح؟ يا انت ما تاخذيش كونسرت صحيح انت محتاجه كونسرت عشان تركزي يا ساره والله اوكي سو اني وايز اي دونت نو واي اوكي ايم تراينج تو 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 جيف يو سام لايك داوت اباوت يور تشويسز اوكي ذيس از ماي ماي ستراتيجي سو جاست تو ليت يو نو Okay, so I gave you some doubt. Okay, I gave you some doubt, and and you swallowed it. You swallowed it. You got me. So you you like uh, it worked with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My my tactic worked well with you, because you like you, you were on the you were on the right track, 
and you uh, you found everything you ask the relevant questions uh about like uh, weight loss uh, eating habits and etc the 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 thing that the 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 other sarah missed she didn't focus on the symptoms you got me the signs like she didn't even ask about that I mentioned like in the beginning of the station to Sarah, I'm, 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 I'm talking about the, the first Sarah. We have two Sarahs, right? The first one, the first she uh, who, who, who's done the, the station first. She, you know, she, she didn't even ask about the symptoms. Okay, if you, if you, if you focused on what I'm saying, I said that his, his, he couldn't sleep, right? He's aggressive. He's confused. He's anxious. He has yeah. respiration. Okay. It is. Yeah, I think it is an overdose, right? Definitely, yes. Yeah, and we should stop it and refer to emergency right away. No, no need for emergency. No need for emergency. Need, okay. But, I said it is an overdose for concerta. This symptom is overdose that, for concerta. Afterwards, afterwards, I told you. His mother wants to increase the dose because she says that the guy is not focusing, is not concentrated. And afterwards, you 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 changed your whole idea and said yes, he's not focusing. You focused only on the concentration. Concentra he he couldn't concentrate because he's confused, he's anxious, he's aggressive. Definitely, he will not be able to concentrate. You confuse me. I was working uh, uh, in my strategy, in my brain, but you confuse, confuse me when you said the uh, mom exactly. needs to yes, be more I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. know why. You, 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 like you digested that. Okay, so it's like uh, it's only strategy. He's not focusing because he's anxious. He didn't sleep. It's been like two to three weeks. He couldn't sleep. You got me. He 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 he, he breathes like uh, quick, rapidly. You got me. He is tachypneic. So all of these symptoms, of course, he will not be able to concentrate. He will not be able to do anything with this symptom. You got me. So the 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 origin of the problem is the overdosage. Not the not like. Not like the low, uh, the the the, the sub therapeutic dose of concerta. No, it's not. It's not sub therapeutic dose. The the maximum dose is even taken more than the maximum dose. Yeah, I see the maximum dose in reference, and I see it take more than the maximum dose because okay. I choose to change my concerta. <laughs> Moreover, you you found out you found out the 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 weight issue, which is the main concern. He he lost. 40 pound he lost 40 pound of course the pharmacodynamics of the medication will be changed definitely correct so at this time we need to decrease the dose a little bit we can start decreasing the dose till we find the correct dose to him simply speaking this is the station guys and you didn't ask about Centra, by example. Why is taking Centra? This is a very simple question. Why is he he's 20 is 22 years old? Why is this guy taking Centra? Is this is normal that you find 22 years old guy is taking Centra? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Centrum. He's why not? Now why not? Why not? Yeah, maybe after the surgery. Yes, and I told you vitamin C, vitamin B as well. So after the surgery, we need to to give a multivitamin to the patient to re, to catch up with uh, with his uh, eating habits, the, the reduced eating habits, the change in his diet, and etc. So most of the time, we give this. The vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin B, multivitamins, and etc. So uh, he suffered the surgery. He lost forty pounds. The drug action, like, uh, 
was altered, it's logic, correct? So the point is, the symptoms, even the symptoms that he's presenting is not symptoms of lower dose or ADHD. It's not ADHD symptoms. It's symptoms of hyper uh, stimulation. His system is hyper stimulated. You got me? That's yeah. it. Simply speaking. Simply speaking. Is it clear? So when you find, please ask about, if you are not aware about the medication in the file, please ask for the, for the reason. Why is taking this medication? Okay? Why is taking this medication? And focus on the signs. The answer lies always in the signs, in the, in the signs, like in the symptoms. The symptoms here is like overdosage of the stimulant. So this is the problem here. You need to focus on that. You need to shift all your focus on yeah. this. Not get, not to be get, like easily distracted as I as I uh, as I uh, I have done with with Sarah, for example. Okay. That's it. So uh, you can expect that the actor will distract you. You can expect that. Okay. Perfect. New user, so we ask about Centrum to discover. Yes, he's 22 years old and he's taken multivitamins. There should be something hidden here, something behind this. Why is he taking multivitamins? And it's like uh, it's in the file. You got me? So it's, it's written in the file. It means that this is a prescription. He's taking that on a prescription. Okay. That's it. Razan, so what we should do here, what we should do here, Sarah, what do you think? Any of the two Sarahs? Yeah, so I think uh, we have to like refer him to the, to the doctor, you said, not the emergency, and then we sh he should, the, the doctor should um, reduce the dose. Yeah. Okay, should we stop everything? Razan is saying, should we stop everything? Uh, for me, I think so, yeah. Maybe. Okay. But there's no harm if I stop it. Okay. The other Sarah. Sarah Sukari. Yeah, I go with the stop uh, the concerta. Okay. So the guy is taking... Yeah, and refer to the doctor. Okay, the guy is taking Concerta since 12 years. You would like to stop it abruptly? No, the taper down. The taper oh, down. Taper down. Of course, you have to taper down. You're going to kill the guy. <laughs> of course, you have to taper. Victor, in the reference already mentioned like the dose reduction and discontinuity if paradoxical aggravation of symptoms or adverse events so the dose like the uh, reduced first will suffer, if necessary will suffer, should... withdrawal, <laughs> will suffer very severe withdrawal symptoms very severe it's taken very high dose and so uh, uh, over a very long period so definitely he will suffer a very severe withdrawal symptoms you cannot stop it like that Okay, you have to decrease the dose gradually. Go down, you can, he's taken, I told you that he's sometimes he's taken 40, 54, uh, most of the days he's taken 72. So just leave, just keep aside this 18, 18 milligram. Take only 54 for, for, for some days, for four days, five days, and keep an eye and make follow up with him in two to three days to see the symptoms, how things will be going. And that's it. If the symptoms like uh, improved, you can keep that dose and keep an eye on the effect. What concerns you here is the safety first, not the effect. You are concerned here about the safety, not the effect. So once you make sure that safety is well guaranteed, at that time you can start focusing 
on the on the on the effect of the medication is it effective or not okay simply so the taper down the dose so we can you can like relieve this uh, uh, over dosage if you would like you can yeah, refer him to the physician his doctor as well but you have here a doctor his doctor is with you guys correct his doctor is with you. He can, he's asking you. <laughs> yeah. That's I forget it. this one. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Increase the dose and make close follow up with him in two to three days. And continue tapering down the dose till you reach the minimal effective dose. The minimum tolerated and effective. The, sorry, the tolerated lower dose. Uh, doctor, if uh, it's not a doctor station, can I um, uh, hold uh, Concerta 18 by myself? Yeah, but, um, I don't know in other provinces. In Quebec, you can do that. But in, I don't know in Ontario and others. So no, we have to respect the federal regulation here. Yeah, because you mentioned uh, right now if we can uh, hold this Concerta. Before we find this is have, the doctor's have, station. Yes, you have you have you have the physician with you. Yeah, yeah. but but with um uh, if it's patient, uh, the station is patient. Uh, I couldn't. I have to refer him. Right. Patient. Yes, you have to refer him. Uh, you... What about his symptoms? He maybe he couldn't see the doctor uh, till two days, for example. No, you have to. Yeah, no, this one is like overdosage. He has to see a doctor very soon. If you cannot, uh, the situation, you cannot to decrease or adjust the dose because of the regulation. At this time, you have to you have to refer him even to the emergency if you want, if you can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. But you uh, overdosage with the stimulants, he risks to uh, it risks to give him uh, cardiac arrest. Correct. Yes, so the risk is high here. You have to act uh, promptly, fast. It's good, clear enough. Any questions, guys? Yeah, I Excuse do have me? a question. Okay. أحمد نظام فينا يا جماعة اختفى ليه؟ سهل يا عم جاوب قول يا أنا معاك يا دكتور بس أنا تقريبا نمت معلش questions next question excusez moi j'ai une question tu peux vous poser ça؟ yes no problem oui merci si j'ai bien compris فاطمة فاطمة أنت فهمت اللي إحنا كنا بنقوله؟ oui 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 okay go ahead yes oui je je comprends bien l'anglais mais juste je parle pas bien malheureusement okay juste je veux savoir dans quel cas je je l'oriente 